How's it going everyone, Justin again here. And in this video, I'm gonna talk about three Forex indicators that will improve your trading immediately. It is so crazy how nowadays you can just get an indicator. I mean, it's nothing new. It's been around ever since MetaTrader has been created. You know, there's a whole community of people creating indicators, selling indicators, giving away free indicators, and a lot of them are trash. And there are a few of them that are actually pretty good. And if you know what you're doing and if you know how to use it properly with your own strategy, it can be very beneficial for you. So I wanna talk about the three different indicators that I have personally looked into and I find to be actually very helpful, especially for those of you that trade naked, right? Not literally naked, but you know what I mean? You know, you don't have any crazy, you know, analysis on your chart. I, I look at these people online and it's like, as if they have a constellation on their chart. I don't even know what I'm looking at. They have hieroglyphics on their chart. Like, come on, trade naked, so simple understand price action, understand market structure, basic things like this will help you become more profitable long-term. You're gonna have winning weeks, you're gonna have losing weeks, but at the end of the day, understand the basics of the Forex market. Uh, you don't have to go out and spend thousands of dollars on a course, just go to babypips.com, learn the very basics of market structure, and that in itself will help you become more profitable. You do not need to rely on indicators, but here's what I do like to say about indicators. Depending on which indicators you get, it will help enhance your experience. Think of it like working out. Uh, how many of you out there work out constantly? Uh, do you have some kind of uh, supplement you know, thing that you do on a daily basis? Maybe you take some vitamin C, maybe you take some protein powder, maybe you take some creatine. Uh, whatever your supplement you know, thing is, that is part of some people's workout routine. They take supplements. And that supplement in this case is like an indicator. It just helps you increase your trading experience even more and faster. Let's just get straight to it. I'm done talking about that. Uh, three indicators that will help you increase your training experience right now, right? So the first one is actually very helpful. It is called the kangaroo tail. And you've seen me make uh, probably about three or four videos on this, especially with my buddy Todd. Um, he is killing it right now trading indices. So if you want to check him out, check out his channel. Uh, I linked him in one of my previous videos. So feel free to check those out. Uh, but the kangaroo tail is basically a reversal candle. That's it. It's very similar to a pin bar candle. It's very similar to pin bar, but it's actually slightly different. If you haven't read the book, Naked Forex, I'm guilty. I haven't read the book yet, but I did read that page that my buddy Todd sent me explaining what a kangaroo tail is and how it's pretty different from a pin bar. And the reason why kangaroo tails are more accurate in our opinion than actually uh, a pin bar candle. So Google it, do some research, do some research, look into what a kangaroo tail is because it's gonna help you spot better reversals in the market. Uh, in my opinion, better than any indicator out there. So as an example, this is USD Japanese Yen on the one hour time frame. Here was a kangaroo tail. You see how simple this was? So starting from this kangaroo tail down to here, that was an 80 pip drop. <laughs> and the thing is, this indicator does not repaint. It does not repaint because it's just letting you know when a specific candle appears. And look at this, a kangaroo tail appeared at resistance. So this would have been the perfect sell entry right here by about 70, 80 pips. And if you wanted to hold it, it even predicted the breakout. So it fell all the way down here by about 400, 460 pips, which comes down here to the nearest demand zone. So if you don't know what supply and demand is, uh, this is basically a demand zone right here. So it predicted the breakout of 400 pips. So that's what I'm saying. If you understand the market, if you understand market structure, an indicator just enhances what you already know, it just makes it 10 times easier for you. So that's one indicator that I recommend. It is called the kangaroo tail indicator. And I have that link below. It's actually on my website. All the indicators that I either use or I personally recommend based off my testing, it'll be on my website, pipsahoy.com slash downloads. Again, that'll be linked down below so you can see all the indicators that I either use or recommend. Okay, so the second indicator that we're gonna look at is called the daily open indicator. For those of you that don't know, yes, Forex is open 24-5. Uh, so even though there is technically no closing time throughout the week, there is basically a closing time, which is 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That is basically a shift between one session to the next. That's why you'll also notice that at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every single day, the spreads increase like crazy. That's because the sessions are about to switch and all this stuff, right? So this right here, this indicator, you see these dotted lines? This is letting you know once 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time uh, comes around and when the new session is about to open up, right? When the, the new day is about to start. So this is why it has a daily open. 
So I'm not going to go into a whole daily open trading strategy, but there are many people out there who make a full-time income just trading based off of the daily open or the daily close on any Forex pair. You can look into it. I just want to show you this is one indicator that, that could be a very good use for you if you understand uh, market structure, you know, daily open close times. It, it gets very technical, but at the same time, it's very simple in nature. Here's an example. So you will notice that you could pretty much come up with your own strategy during a trend if you're going to trade based off of the market open on a daily basis. Okay, so let me show you an example of what some people would do when it comes to actually trading the daily open. And you can see how powerful this is during a trend. So as an example, right here is USD Japanese Yen. Coincidentally, we have a kangaroo tail before the trend started. So that was a 240 something pit move up. Pretty interesting. Uh, but right here, as you can see, do you notice a pattern? Okay, do you notice a common pattern? Right here is a low. Right here is a low, right here is a low. So every time USD Japanese Yen made a high, it corrected itself, it created some spikes, and then it shot back up. Corrected itself, shot back up. Okay, so my third and final indicator that I'm gonna talk about is called the ATR Stop Loss Tool. Now this one has actually helped me for the past, what, three or four days now. I did a lot of test trades on my own. It was so crazy to see how accurate this was. Basically what this does, it helps you determine where to place your stop loss depending on what time frame you have it connected to. So if you see right here on the one hour time frame, it says stop loss should be about 31 pips if I were to get into a trade. Now it's not telling you what to trade. It's not telling you to buy or sell. It's just letting you know if you're gonna place a stop loss, do about 31 pips. So from here, so from here to here is about 31 pips. And from here to here is about 31 pips, right? So it's saying if you're gonna get into a trade, they recommend using 31 pips for stop loss. As you can as you can tell, the higher the time frame you get into, the higher the stop loss gets. So from here to here, that's gonna be about 73 pips. And then from here to here, that's about 73 pips. And then on the daily time frame, 291 pips, right? So if you were to get into a trade, they recommend a 291 pip stop loss. So obviously the bigger the time frame you get, it's obviously meant for swing trades and bigger trades. So you're gonna have bigger stop losses. Now, let me give you an example of how this actually uh, helped improve my trading a lot. For the last two weeks, I have been getting into really good trades. Like if I were to call out a trade, I would say, hey, the take profit's gonna be 80 pips, 100 pips, 200 pips, right? But my stop losses were too tight. That was my problem for the last two weeks. And I learned so much from the last two weeks. And that's what prompted me to do a lot of research into these stop loss tools like the ATR and the theories that go behind it. So if you're gonna learn about the ATR, don't ask me, I recommend you go to Google, watch some videos, go to babypips.com, learn the theory, learn the understanding behind the ATR tool and how it works and how it can help you uh, use better stop losses than tighter stop losses. But anyways, that's what happened to me for the past two weeks. I was using very tight stop losses and right after the trade hit stop loss, it would spike straight to my 200 pip take profit. Hit stop loss, spike straight to my 100 pip take profit. Hit my stop loss, spike straight to my 80 pip take profit. And there's nothing more annoying on this planet then hitting stop loss, then going straight to a 200 pip take profit. Trust me, it's annoying, right? So my trades have been really good. It's just the stop losses were too tight. And that's what this has actually helped me do. So, and as an example, like I said before, let me get into that story now. The other day, which was yesterday, I got into a buy for NZD CAD. You know what, let me pull it up and let me show you here. <laughs> I actually still have it marked up here, the zone, so you can see where I got into the buy. So right here's a demand zone. I got into my buy position right here. So right here, the moment the market gapped up, because yesterday was Sunday, so Sunday gap open, I got into a buy right here because I was, I was expecting it to continue shooting up. And the reason why I was expecting it to continue shooting up was because of this head and shoulders pattern. I don't know if I already mentioned that before, but head and shoulders. So right here's a shoulder, right here's a head, and we're forming a shoulder right here. So I got into a buy right here, and my take profit was up here. So that was about, 80 or so pips, right? So my entry was right here and my drawdown was by about 38 pips, almost 40 or so pips. So on the one hour time frame, I got into a trade right here. And at the time, it was telling me my stop loss should be somewhere down here. I think it was telling me to be about uh, 55 or 60 pips. If I wasn't using this ATR tool, I would have placed my stop loss at the bottom of this demand zone. And what happened? I would have gotten stopped out 
And the same thing would have happened like for the past two weeks. I, it would have stopped me out and then it would have shot in straight up by 90, you know, something pips like that. But because I use this ATR stop loss tool, I set my stop loss down here. And because, like I said before, you, ha you have to be in the winning trade in order for this to actually help you. You can't just get into random trades willy nilly and expect this tool to save your life. It's just there to help you understand stop loss placement uh, better than what you already know. And because I placed my stop loss down here, because of what the ATR told me at the time, it saved my butt. And when I woke up the next morning, which was this morning, it was all the way up here. So we closed out around 49, 50 pips, something like that. So the ATR tool really does help you if you're in a good trade. And if you don't know where to place your stop loss, this can pretty much help you out with that. So that's it for this video. I didn't wanna to get too in detail about certain things. Uh, I know sometimes indicators can get confusing if you're brand new to, to Forex, if you don't know what MetaTrader is. Uh, but again, I have these indicators on my website. Most of them are completely free. I believe the only indicator you have to pay for is the kangaroo tail indicator, but trust me, it's 100% worth it. Uh, but yeah, the other ones, the daily open, that one's free. ATR tool, that one's free. And you will also see on the site, again, my website down below, a free pip counter from me, Pips Ahoy. So right here, we're gonna go right here. We're gonna drag and drop the Pips Ahoy counter. And as you can see right here, since I'm not in a trade right now, it's gonna say we're up zero pips. But let's say I'm currently in floating profit by 100 pips. It's going to show plus 100. And if you're negative 100, it's going to say negative 100. So this way, it's just a lot easier to see what trades you're in and how many pips you are in profit. Now, if you are in multiple trades at one given time on the same pair, it's also going to account for the stacked positions. So that's it for this video. Take care and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.